Hey, my name is Brendan Lawler. I'm teaching Intro to Philosophy, and it's a great class. It's sort of a first-pass overview of philosophy, and uh, basically it's sort of the greatest hits of Western thinking. I'm Brian, and I'm in Brendan's Intro to Philosophy class. And actually, it's one of the classes that I look forward to every day. I wake up, the class is about 11. It goes from 11 to 12.15, but I normally wake up about 10, do the homework, and it's, it's just phenomenal how well Brendan has completely outlined all the information. And for example, he took Plato's Republic and he turned it into a little 17-page summary, but he included all the important aspects, and it looks like he did that himself. Also, once we got to class, we, we get handouts that, that he himself made with Plato's theories of different government styles, and it just it makes the class just that much more. The goal in the class is to promote critical thinking. And I, I, like to, I like to put uh, a saying of Socrates out there that it's audacious, really. The unexamined life is not worth living. And, you know, it can go in one ear and out the other. But if you stop and think about it, it sort of, you know, fixes you in, in place. Am I examining my life? You know, it's, it's basically throwing down of the gauntlet. So Socrates is, is claiming that based on the kind of being that you are, you, you know, and, and I, all the people in this room sitting here together, are beings who have the capability of reflecting on their lives. Um, so we'll tackle issues in the class about the nature of human being. You know, what uh, do human beings have free will? What is the nature of the soul? Is it some sort of separate existing substance? Uh, or is it the same thing as, you know, the matter out of which, you know, your hands and brain are made? Um, questions uh, uh, that we tackle too, you know, involve the, what's the nature of right and wrong? I mean, people have uh, internalized uh, the, the sort of moral code that comes along with socialization or what grandma says is, you know, right and wrong. Stuff you learn at grandma's knee is sort of in want of justification. So as human beings, we can reflect and ask the question, yeah, if that's right, what's the reason uh, 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 that it's right? If it's wrong, what's the reason that it's wrong? And uh, so in philosophy, you know, my goal in the class is to promote critical thinking into the uh, about the questions that are sort of perennial. They sort of come up every generation and have been for thousands of years.